जय हिंद सरस्वती शिशु कुंज भगवाला बोर्सत इंग्लिश मीडियम स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूंग विद चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन दैट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स दिस इज वीडियो पार्ट थ्री सो वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन प्रीवियस फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड वीडियो सो वी हैव सीन दिस मैनी पॉइंट्स दैट इज फर्स्ट वन ब्लड राइट वॉट इज ब्लड सो देर आर फोर थिंग्स प्रेजेंट इन साइड द ब्लड फर्स्ट वन इज अ फ्लूड दैट इज नोन एज प्लाज्मा रेड ब्लड सेल्स विच कंटेन हिमोग्लोबिन white blood cells which are fighters right that will fight with germs that try to attack your body platelets which is a reason behind the clotting of the blood right the blood get plugged when you get any injury the blood will stop flowing out of the body so that is because of the platelets right so there are four components right or parts of the blood we can see right they all flow and that blood will carry food we can say nutrients it will carry from digestive system right from digestion systems to whole body it will carry oxygen from the heart right to whole body it will carry carbon dioxide from whole body right each cell produce carbon dioxide so it will collect that and it will you know take that carbon dioxide towards the heart and from the heart it will go into the lungs right that is you know uh, carbon dioxide get released from the lungs that you have studied in 10th chapter so that was about blood and importance that it carry many things it carry waste of your uh, you know blood waste the uh, waste of your body transport it passes it moves from one end to other end that is transportation and main thing is blood okay after that blood vessels so the vessels in which blood flows there are three kinds of uh, blood vessels present in our body there are three types of blood vessels present in our body first one is arteries veins and capillaries arteries veins and capillaries right arteries and veins if you you know you have already studied that arteries carry blood from the heart towards the body part right arteries will carry blood from the heart towards the body part and veins will carry blood means it will collect the blood from the body part towards the heart right veins will carry blood from the body part towards the heart okay so that was about blood vessels we talk about heart so now what is the function of heart what it do for you so it pumps the blood there are two separate chambers right actually four chambers are there two right chambers work as a right pump to left chambers work as a left pump right from the left pump the oxygen rich blood will flow into the arteries from the right pump the blood which is collected from the veins will flow into the lungs for the filtration right so it can be you know oxygenated blood right so it just transport blood from the lungs towards the body part and from the body part towards the lung it is a mediator like thing right there is a pump which is mediator it collect the uh, oxygenated blood from the lungs and transport into the and you know it will pump into the body and then from the veins it will collect the blood which is uh, deoxygenated blood right and it will supply to the heart one more thing about the veins there are valves present in the veins valves that valves will not allow blood to come down right it allows only one motion direction means in one direction your blood will flow into the veins right there are valves present in the veins okay the next one is heartbeat while this heartbeat I mean we can say you know your heart get contract and it get relax contract and it get relax so during this process right there is a regular or we can say rhythmic beat they generate that heart generate a rhythmic beat so that is your heart beat right we also know about pulse rate right because of the heart beats you will get pulse here right so that is your pulse rate number of pulses in one minute that is your pulse rate so this many topics we have seen in part 1 video and part 2 video right so our today's topic is exhalation in animals right if you can recall that how your lungs you know when you exhale the air how your lungs will pump out or we can say how it throw out the carbon dioxide rich air outside the body right so that carbon dioxide is a waste product which produce inside your body if we recall try to remember that you know in digestion the waste food is also 
it also your body you know will not keep it inside it will also thrown out from the body the waste product at the end of the digestion right so during you know our cell do many activities right apart from production of energy there are many activities actually your hand is moving you are walking and many other activities which is in that each cell is involved so during that all activities some waste products get produced inside your body some products which are waste right is produced in your body and those waste products should be removed from your body it should removed from your body right so the process of removal of a waste which produced in the cell of living organism so that process is known as exudation right that process is known as exudation and the organs which are you know participate which participate in this exudation Uh, process right they all forms exudatory system the organs which participate in the exudation are known as that you know they form exudatory system there is a whole system just for the removal of the waste which produce in your body so that is exudatory system now let's talk about exudatory system in humans in our body which type of exudatory system is there so the waste which is produced you know it mixes with the blood the waste which is produced in your body it mixes with the blood now that waste should be removed from the body so how it can be done so the filter process the filtration process is required right the because the waste is already in your blood so your blood should be filtered by some organ right so kidneys and there are capillaries inside the kidneys the whole organ is name is kidney and inside the kidney there is a blood capillaries right so inside that blood capillary is your blood get filtered your blood get filtered now here you can see here in the picture kidneys right then you can see ureter then urinary bladder right kidneys ureter urinary bladder and ureta right and ureta so this forms exudatory system in human right see here again kidney ureter urinary bladder and ureter so this forms exudatory system in human so what happens exactly in this so when blood reaches into the kidneys when blood reaches into the kidneys it, that blood has both the substances means useful substances as well as harmful substances or we can say toxic substances right toxic substances should be removed from the blood so when it passes from the kidney when it passes from the kidney the useful substances dissolve back again into the blood right and the toxic substances which are present it will dissolve in the water and they are they will move from the kidney into the ureters ureter is a tube like structure right from the kidney it will move into the ureters and from the ureters it is stored inside the urinary bladder that water which contains toxic material right it will store into the, the urinary bladder from the urinary bladder it will move into urethra right that toxic material that is urine it will move into the urethra and then it is removed through the urinary openings right. so this is how we release or we pass urine an adult human being passes one or 1.8 liter urine in 24 hours the urine contains 95% of water 2.5% of urea and 2.5% of other waste product we all have experience during the summer season right we get sweat on our body right and when there is you know so much hot weather right it is uh, we are getting so much sweat so it will leave a white mark on a specific part of the body right like in underarms right you will get some white mark when you remove at the end of the day right you will get some white mark right so what is that that is a salt part of the sweat that is a salt part of the sweat means when you know sweat comes out from your body it contains salt what it contains sweat contains salt and why we are getting sweat to maintain our body temperature you just see you no know, in winter you will not get sweat outside because weather is cold around so your body doesn't need to be cooled down right because it is already cold but during summer 
because the weather is hot your body temperature rises your body temperature rises and to make it cool to maintain the temperature of the body you get sweat from the skin so this waste removal this waste removal system is depends on totally availability of water right a particular body from which waste is throwing out right that body is trying to throw the waste out it is depends on the availability of water which is available in that particular body if we talk about fishes that lives inside the water only right so their body will directly uh, you know release the waste material and that will dissolve inside the water only that fishes will directly release ammonia the waste product from the fishes cell there is ammonia and that ammonia will directly dissolve inside the water when we talk about most of the uh, you know birds most of the birds they throw out semi solid like substance that is made up of uric acid right and when you talk about human beings most of the part the waste which is gets which get produced in our body that is ammonia so we throw out most of the part of ammonia outside of our body so what is importance of this filter and especially the kidneys right so sometime due to some injury or sometime for you know after the infection of kidneys a particular person may be their kidneys is not their kidneys are not able to filter the blood so the waste which is inside the blood will start accumulate inside the body only right it will start taking place inside your body and it becomes so much dangerous for that particular person that blood should be filtered right then and then that person can survive further for that an artificial type of kidneys or you know mechanism is required through which periodically blood should be filtered means after some interval of time the person's blood should be filtered that is known as dialysis if you have heard the word right that blood should be filtered every time that is dialysis and after that a person can survive for more years like animals plants also get this transportation right there are also some organs which is present inside the plant which helps in transportation so first of all we all know that plant absorb water minerals we can say nutrients from the soil right with the help of root okay so from the root how water will reach to the every leaf because you all know in the process of photosynthesis water is required right in the process of photosynthesis water is required right chlorophyll is already present in the leaf right and leaf will make food now that food is made inside the leaf but we all know that each cell require food or energy to perform certain activity so food is prepared inside the leaf how it will reach to the each part of the plant so transportation of food is also required leaf is getting oxygen right other cells also get you know other parts also get oxygen root can get oxygen from the soil but that transportation of the oxygen is also required so let's see first of all how water get transport inside the plant plants absorb water and minerals with the help of root now these roots have root hairs the root hair which is present inside the root will increase the surface area of the root for the absorption of water mineral and nutrients which is present inside or we can say which is dissolved inside the water it will increase the surface area of that now you know plants have tube like structure or we can say pipe like structure present inside their whole body now those vessels those vessels are you know spread through whole the body of the plant it will transport water and nutrients which is you know absorbed from the soil right the tubes or begins with those vessels will transport water and nutrients now those vessels are made up of special kind of uh, cells those cells will form vascular tissues those cells will form vascular tissues and that vessels are made up of vascular tissues right one cell will form a tissue and many tissues will form organs so that is your uh, vessel which is present inside the plant let me repeat it again a tissue right a uh, one tissue will mix with other they make a group right and that group of tissue will perform a specific task 
group of tissue will perform a specific task now here vascular tissues right this vascular tissues are you know together and they form organ system right or system which transport the important or useful materials inside the plant and that tissues together are known as xylem so this xylem forms a network like structure network of vessels which connect roots to the leaves and roots to the different parts of like branches right and each part of the plant these roots are connected with the each part are using the xylem type of vessels so transportation of water becomes so easy using this type of xylem vessels now there is a different type of vessels which carry nutrients and food so let's see that what kind of vessels will carry you know, food and nutrients in the body of plant now we also know that food which is made inside the leaf is should be transport to the each and every part of the plant right and that vascular vessels which transport food and nutrients inside the plant are known as phylum that vessels which carry food and nutrients inside the body of plant it transport right so that kind of vascular vessels are known as phylum so xylem and phylum both transport important materials inside the plant's body uh, as we discussed that how we get sweat in the summer season right so same kind of uh, thing happen inside the plants also and that is known as transpiration that you have already learned in 6 standard right so what is this transpiration and why plant absorb lot of amount of water right and then it release it water in a form of vapor in the process of transpiration so the leaf of the plant has small openings on the surface of it that is known as stomatas now this stomatas right they are helpful in breathing also that we also know right but in that there is some amount of water present and it will get evaporate right it comes out in a form of vapor through that holes right this will create suction right so that water which is after that a part of leaf it will shock out it will come up right as you are you know you are drinking any cold drink when you shock that uh, cold drink will come up it rises up same thing happens when a transpiration takes place inside the leaf a suction takes place right a suction occurs in the leaf and the water which is present in the vessels will come up it rises up so this is helpful for the tall plants right so because of this each and every leaf will get enough water and each and every plant will get enough the water due to this suction process that takes place during the transpiration and this transpiration also cools down the plant this transpiration also cools down the surrounding of plant right if you just try to observe during the summer season if you will see it under the uh, many trees inside the farm right so you will feel it is little bit more cold in the summer also you will feel cold around the many trees right if you will uh, move over there right so that is because of the transpiration that takes place every time inside the plant and that is why the surrounding atmosphere right nearby atmosphere where there are so many plants so atmosphere which is around that plants is little bit more colder than other atmosphere you know uh, atmosphere which is on the road which doesn't have any plant so this is how transpiration takes place and importance of transpiration so what we learned today so we learned excretory system in humans in that we have seen kidneys are connected with ureters ureters are connected with urinary bladder and that urinary bladder is connected with the urethra right okay and how that you know uh, your blood get filtered inside the kidneys then useful substance will dissolve inside the water that and you know uh, that is form of urea right and other extra substance will also dissolve in the water it will move from the ureter into the urinary bladder right in the urinary bladder it will store for some time and then it is get released from the urinary opening so this is how your excretory system in the human occurs or it takes place the excretory whole process of the excretion takes place in the human through this excretory system
Okay, the next one that was a transpiration of substances in plants. That two uh, things we learned that is water and nutrients, right? So how water transport inside the plants, how uh, nutrients or food get transported inside the plants. So there are two vessels that we discussed here. Xylem and phloem, right? So that xylem will transport water into the plants and phloem will transport nutrients, right? Also we have understand the transpiration. Now this transpiration is also connected with this transportation, right? Transpiration means the water that is released through the stomata. The stomata are porous opening. There are opening which is on the surface of the leaf. So water will evaporate through this porous that is known as transpiration. This takes place inside the plant only. And because of that, tall trees can get enough water in that each and every part. Here we learn about tissues, there are special kind of tissues and because of that special kind of tissues, the formation of special kind of vessels takes place that was xylem and phloem. So I hope you understand all the topics which is discussed here. This is the end of your chapter, right? After this, one day you can submit your whole workbooks, photographs, right? You have to send it as a homework. Thank you so much.